Wow, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm in the uh, shop side of the garage where uh, I have tools. I make things maybe. But uh, so the last six weeks, I've been uh, converting this part of the garage, right? I have uh, to make a Lego studio. Yup, a Lego studio. Well, you know, I got a Lego channel. We're uh, pretty Lego centric here in this house. And, um, you know, one thing with Legos is uh, they deserve a space of their own. So I made a room. The only thing I have it on the outside, this is still rough. I got to put uh, some case around this, but uh, we can get past that, right? So here we go. Let's check it out. I'm actually going to flip it around. So quick at it. Abaha. So here we go. So we open the door and lights come on fan. So there, there it is. That's the, uh, the Lego studio. And here we go. We got our, our main Lego table right here. Schwing. That's crooked. I know that. I just put the cover on today. I got it. And uh, I'm going to get turn those switches white. We're going to do a full analysis of this. So we got the, uh, and then we got shelving right there. Then we got the mini figure wall. So this is uh, designed to uh, store mini figures or display mini figures. I, I uh, dadoed two tracks in here to hold the, uh, the minifigure stands. We've got the, uh, the fake wood flooring down. And then uh, this, this beam right up here was uh, one of those, but I wrapped it. I wrapped it with wood to make it look nice. And then you can see it's, uh, we got lighting and lights. It's hard to do justice on this room with such a uh, with such a uh, limited. It's a small room, but it's uh, the only thing I didn't do was clean up the door. Maybe I'll paint that a special something sooner or later. Make a special door. So and then we got this place back here, storage. So let's go take a look at where we were when we started. Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. So uh, bunkhouse back there, you can see the, uh, I got the roof out in front all dialed in. I'll make a more extensive video about what's going on over there. I'm getting ready to put the flooring down. I got some footage. I need to actually make a legit video, but I figured I should get on the ground floor. So we're making the, uh, the Lego room in the garage, right? Or another room in the garage, but Lego room for now. I'm getting it started, man. Ah, you know, where do you start, right? So it's basically going to come off that. There's going to be a jog here for some shelves on either side of the wall. And then it's going to come in here. Basically, it's, it's about 10 by 16, I think it is. And um, so I got to figure out what it's got to start somewhere, right? So my first thing I'm doing is getting something to connectivity to bring this all in line with with these ties and the whole thing. I don't know. I'm not using any correct terms. I don't plan on using it. Just sticks in the air, yo. But uh, so my one thing I'm doing is right because spiders are like a whole thing out here. It is Spiderville is so I, I, I'm getting this in. And then I'm going to rip some strips and fill this in so there's no little like creepy crawly homes. Creepy crawly home prevention 101, dude. And then so I think what I'm going to do is build the Lego room in and then I need somewhere to store my surfboards. So I'm going to build some sort of surfboard storage system on the top and try to get this, try to get the garage back. It's, it's, uh, it's blocking a lot. So there we are, dude. 
That stick one is about to get nailed in. Coming in, coming in here, right? Like this is my, I have to put a threshold down here. This is my temporary solution, which was just to put a, some aluminum angle metal in there and just screw it down with blue screws just to protect the edge and keep it tight. So putting in the floor, dude, I made a huge mistake and I didn't, it got all off center. So if you go back into this corner back here, like, dude, it's oops. But, and that's why I had to make my own custom uh, baseboard because uh, I fully just blundered putting it in. But, you know, I won. And then uh, these are the, uh, this is my shelving, my, our table set up. The table, I think, came out pretty good. I'm pretty stoked on the table. It's exactly, uh, three base plates wide for the, uh, for the, if there's any Lego enthusiasts out there, it's, uh, it's three base plates wide, man. So, so boom, there you go. And this is owls. So we're going to make some stuff happen. And then we got the shelving. I was pretty stoked with the shelving. If I can get back far enough to get it in there for you. This I made a complete standalone box and then mounted it to the wall. Cause uh, this wall is out. You can see it's, it's, it's racked. There's a big beam up there and there's like, it's all sorts of issues. So this, this is, this is the wall I built, which is straight. And, um, I'm pretty stoked on the minifigure case. I put a vent up there, the lighting. So, um, mistakes, you know, cause you're your own worst critic. You're doing your own thing. I will say doing your own thing takes longer than actually working for someone else. Cause you just can't get in here for eight hours at a pop and just go at it. So this was a solution cause because of uh, making this table, I had to join it in a weird way. And I, I barnied my measurements by a quarter inch. So there was a quarter inch gap, but I just buried it with a piece of, of custom trim, which actually looks pretty nice. So I, I'm pretty stoked on the table, actually. The table was the last thing I did. This uh, shelf, came, I'm pretty fired up. This is going to look great when we're done. So mistakes that I made, besides the big blunder with the floor, I did Barney it right here. This is a pretty big Barney up in there. I don't know. And then, you know, I don't, I'm not that wild about the, the nail holes, but I could, I should have gotten a, a wood putty that matched a little better, but you know, we're a long way from a hardware store around here sometimes. But this came out pretty good. The wrapped, the wrapped beam. So it's, it's uh, like a hundred inches long. You can only, and I just use underlayment. So, and I chose to do a seam there and wrap, I made my own custom, custom corner pieces. And I'm actually pretty stoked how that came out. The lighting all came out pretty good, but I will tell you, dude, getting the sheets of plywood in up here on this, I mean, the sheets of drywall, was brutal that was a brutal day in there and and then i had to make this because those lights had it fully customized the, all that to get that was kind of dip, a whole day there but at the end man i'm feeling pretty good about it dude pretty good about the lego studio right there look at that swing it's gonna just be full of color and legos i'm excited we're about to turn the corner here hey, wait, let's uh let's switch back to uh and then of course i crack this installing it today 
So this, I got a dimmer on that. See a dimmer, the dimmer. And then those were, those were adjustable lights there. And I think the lighting, I was worried whether it was going to be not enough lighting. And then I started putting it all in there and I was like, there's going to be too much lighting, but the lighting came out pretty good. So you can get an idea. I pretty much split the garage in half. So you can see this is what it used to be over here, right? That's what it used to be. And then I built a bunch of storage racks up there and that's the backside. I got to put, I got to deal with a little bit of stuff I haven't dealt with out there, but, um, end game analysis. It was a, it was a harder project than I thought it, it really was. And, and not, not skill wise, but more tempo wise, you know, you just, you know, that thing of, I really don't like drywalling. I don't mind putting the drywall up and taping it and mudding it. I hate sanding it. And sanding up here was brutal. Like you can, you can, right in that little tight spot. Like if you look up in there, like it's pretty rough. But who's gonna look up in there, dude? I, I will tell you this. One of the things that, that, that is, a, you were our own worst enemies. Like there's stuff I twitched out on that I spent an inordinate amount of time on that no one's ever going to know but me. Like no one will ever know that this floor is... So the interesting thing is like the floor racked wrong because I, I had to set it off of that wall, right? Like I had to build out on that wall because this wall was, was the door. Well, that corner's out by like, that's the official corner of the building, right? The garage. It's out by like, you know, half an inch. So when I was laying in the sheet, these planks of, I don't know how wild I am about this stuff, but the fake snap on wood, you got to bang them in, right? And I got done and it was super hot. It was like 110 degrees. There was some drama going on around the, around the compound. And uh, I just was super distracted and slightly edgy and hot. And, and yeah, I got done. I got pretty much to the end. And then I noticed that like, it was out of whack and way out of whack, which when, it, when I banged it back to gain, because it was all tight here in this end. When I banged, it just racked it off. And then I was like, wait a minute. And I, I know that this wall, because I put this wall in, I know this is a perfect 90. This is a perfect 90. I know everything I put in is plumb, square, because I spun out on it for like two days to get it right. So I knew this wall was, was, was straight compared to this wall, you know, that, the wall of the garage. So when I racked it, the flooring is square to my door, pretty much. I mean, it's still an eighth out, but that's because I hit that corner right there. Anyway, I'll know. I know where all the mistakes are. Like I could have buried all these holes right here with the pocket screw holes, but I was too, it's just like the time consuming, dude. So, you know, you gotta make a, a thing of like, who are you doing it for, dude? If I'm doing it for my own, my own self, like I, like that's the hard part, like, it's an inter it's an interesting thing. That's why I don't that's why I would never run my own jobs. It just I, I get too I'm O C D about it. I get too spun out and then it ends up I end up making bigger mistakes, dude. So anyway, this is like the first officially, officially done project here on the property. Like the bunkhouse, they still gotta do the bathroom. But this except 
and I'll leave, I don't care about outside this door. I got to do the threshold, but everything in, from inside this door, inside this door on, except this door, except this door, this door I should have painted, but that's it. That's it. Just take it apart. That's a one hour mission is done. And I'm stoked about it. So let's see, but how do we, look at that dude, Lego studio. And we're going to start doing live streams from in here and it's a little echoey, but once it fills up with Legos, we're going to be stoked. All right. Smash that like button, subscribe. There's links down below. If you want to get some t-shirts, 2022 is almost over. Get your cucked monkey t-shirts. Oh, look at that dude. Wait till the Legos fill it up, dude. And um, support the dream, links down below, PayPal, crypto, all that good stuff, dude. Send us silver, Lego. But the most important thing you can do out there on Spaceship Earth is use the name tags, be kind and loving to your fellow passengers on Spaceship Earth. This is The Illusion, signing off.